Veterans from Blast Colt. I'm gonna show you this uh, rockabilly machine I just finished here. It's pretty special base. It's got a, a removable neck. It's a Star 145 removable neck. It's got a maple body. But this one has mahogany neck and mahogany trim. And this is the first base I've done with a mahogany neck. Um, it's got similar properties to the maple. It's a little bit warmer, less punchy, and this bass has a nice warm sound. Uh, I did this one in like a, you know, the late 50s Gretsch orange with um, ivory and black and a little bit of gold pinstriping just to detail the edges. It has a uh, gold scallop on the back and um, here in the coin is where you get to the uh, neck removal. Coin comes off, one screw, neck's off. Really simple and the coin just pops back on magically. Uh, this base has tone mongers uh, strings on it so it's got the D and G plain gut and E and A low tension steel. Between the E and A, these, these are two different materials, but they sound pretty damn close. Um, so you have the same tone all the way across, but uh, with this set, you get the boomy fundamental of your E and A without losing it to floppy gut string that's like, you know, that big around. Got the Channel Blaster 2 on here with one of our uh, roasted maple bridge, European maple. Our bridges have slightly bigger uh, wings on them for the pickup so the pickup has more surface area to contact which makes a better signal kills feedback all that kind of stuff and I've got this baby plugged into the old trusty orange it's pretty orange in here right now so this base is completely laminated from maple mahogany maple mahogany it's kind of like a uh, every other ply we switch it up but on the faces of this one, it's all maple. So even though this is a removable neck base, it's very sturdy and it's very strong. It can handle, you know, a big guy like me standing on it, no problem anywhere. It's just a durable base. Um, it's meant to last and not break and have to keep bringing into the shop to repair. Uh, this one has the old blast bolt end pin on it, skate wheel which pretty much never wears out. There you go, Bruno. Mm -hmm. And it has Channel Blaster 2, which is built into the tailpiece. It's a preamp with the battery and everything built into the tailpiece. So you go out mono into your amplifier. All your tone controls are right here on the back. So you got bass, you got mids, and then you have a slap, a separate slap pickup. So you can just get the um, and put it anywhere in between. 99% of the parts that we use to build this base are made in-house with raw materials, and um, including the tuning machines, end pin, tailpiece, bridge. Um, so this thing is a completely custom base, and this is definitely a one of a kind. And uh, we'll show you some details of the striping and the uh, pin striping I did on it. So we have this uh, mahogany trim with the gold pin, and then it all lines up to little black scallops and a big gold scallop in the back. A nice ivory edge. So we have a, uh, a video on our YouTube channel that shows me disassembling and assembling the base uh, for travel. And you can see how that's done there. This neck heel has a carbon fiber reinforcement slide on it, so the neck just slides into a dovetail with carbon fiber. There's also a, a carbon fiber rib in the center of this uh, fingerboard to keep the fingerboard from warping. Um, so it, it keeps its shape, even if you're in extreme weather, you know, uh, hot, cold, you're not gonna get your fingerboard bowing, or you know, if you pack it in a, in a van or something upside on his back like this, and there's pressure on here and you go through somewhere hot it's going to want to dive down but with the carbon fiber 
never have a problem with that. The neck is pretty comfortable neck. It's, it's kind of a medium. It's not like super small student thin neck. So it's very comfortable. You got the meat here to uh, keep your hand from cramping.